Yeah, man, Supple Purples, one of my blessed beats. For some reason, there has been a, an abundance of questions coming my way lately asking how to export separate tracks from the machine to keep working on them in your DAW or start tracking vocals, doing further mixing, thing like that, you know what I'm saying? So, this might be obvious to some people, but I'm doing this sort of as an addendum to the Machine Noobs Mastery School, which if you haven't checked out yet, check them out right there, because apparently I didn't include that for some reason, which is, it's an essential part, so yeah, you need that. It, here, here goes. Alrighty, let us have a look see at how to do it in standalone mode. I have a beat loaded up right here with eight different groups with different sounds in them. And I've already built four scenes in ideas mode here. For a quick little repetition on the arrangement side of things, you know what I'm saying? First, we're going to append this stuff into song mode. Appending scenes from ideas view is a hella smooth, you know what I'm saying? And the way you do it is you hold down this scene button there. You can pin it. Press append, and now you can see the scenes are laid out across the pads here. Whichever order I press these pads now, the scenes will be thrown out. It will spit them out into the song mode, so we can arrange it on the fly like that. Scene one, scene three, scene two, scene four. You know what I'm saying? So now we have these four scenes laid out in the song mode. Let's uncheck append. Click the ideas button again. And now if you want to get into the song view or the song mode, whatever, what you want to call it, <laughs> say whatever you want to call it. From here, you can hold shift and press song. Song, see? Now we have it right there. First of all, you might want to activate the loop up here if it's not active hold shift and press restart you can see it says loop right below it mine was already active but now it's only looping this last scene the last part in here and I'm gonna want to use this loop section to determine which part of the song I want to export the tracks from so to do that I'll hold down scene hold down the first pad and let's see if I could reach it fuck While I'm still holding down the first pad, I'll press the last scene I want to be included in my export. Now you can see they're all covered. Now, it's gonna play back the whole beat or song, or whatever you've done. Right, all right, all right, all right. Now, to the actual part of exporting it. You will have to hop into the file menu. Up here, you'll find a beautiful button called export audio export okay so now we have a few different options to keep track of here our source do we want to export the master that's going to export a, a stereo track do we want to export it on a group level that's going to give us eight tracks since we have eight groups here and uh, all of the sounds will not be split up into individual tracks and the last option you have is to export the sound source. That will export every single pad that has a sound on it. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go in this case with the group because I'm already, I'm, I'm, it, I, I like to be, I mix on the fly. I don't mess around with too long. I like to finish stuff. Our range here is set to loop right now and that's exactly what we want because it is going to export the section that we've marked to be looping. You could also have this set to all. That would export everything that's in the song view. You can set the sample rate to anything between 44k hertz to 192 kilohertz if you would wish to. We're just going to keep it at the CD quality. You know what I'm saying? I'm old school like that. You can export wave or IF. Set the bit depth from 16 bit, that's CD quality, to 24 or 32 bit float if you are a connoisseur who wants that maximum quality. You know what I'm saying? Loop optimize. That will take the tail of the very last thing you hear at the end of the song and wrap it around to the beginning. So, say for example, you had a reverb of a sound that's ringing out. If you don't have loop optimize turned on, this will mean that 
that reverb gets abruptly cut off. But if you do have loop optimize on, your export will start with the tail of that reverb. So it will be perfectly optimized to loop. Normalize. You typically do not want to normalize your file unless in some cases you're exporting the whole master as one stereo track because then your mixing levels are going to be uh, fucked up. You know what I'm saying? And you can also choose to split by section, off or on. This will generate a set of new files for every single section which contain the scenes. I'm happy with these settings. I export. Now, this will take a while. We're just going to skip this part. Okay, okay finish. Now, we have the files exported to the SD card. You could either choose to pop it out and pop it into your computer, or if you have a USB cable connected, let's collect, let, let us connect this little son of a gun right here. You can also choose to hop into settings right here and press storage. This will make your SD card available on your computer and stop the transport. Do you want to continue it? Okay. 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 Boom. Let's get a computer ordinator device view going here so you can see what just happened. Good, 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 good. Our storage device has now popped up on the computer. Don't be fooled by the name right here. It is not as SP404SX. We want to find our way into the native instruments folder and from here, machine two, go to exports from there and this will have a folder named after your project that you've exported. I can't remember what it's called. Out of Love 1. Yeah, this is the one. Now, I have all of my groups here. I can copy this to my computer, drop it into my DAO, and go. <laughs> then that's it. When you're done, you can right-click, make sure to eject it, and disconnect on the controller. That's that. Let's take a look at how to do it on the standalone software for the Mark III users out there. Check them out. This here is very similar to what we did on the machine and standalone. First, we want to make sure that our loop region right here is activated by clicking this button. You can adjust the length if you need to. And now all we need to do is go into file and export audio. Here you have a, a variance of choices. I've set it to loop right here. It's going to export the selected loop region and decide between the master, the groups. Now this is going to export all of the groups in here but not the separate sounds or sound level you can see the groups are named here and if as i flip this menu down all of the sounds that this group contains are checkable now you can also do the loop optimize from here which i explained before and you can also split it up by each section which would be visualized here in the software by these things right here these scenes are in sections and of course the other stuff now all we need to do is select a folder where we want to export it I'll name this after my beat mm, yeah okay and I hit export of course you'll find all of the sounds in the selected folder that I chose to export it in now. Now I forgot something. One thing that could be handy to do is note the BPM because it doesn't name this by default. And I'll just go rename my folder to that so I don't need to open the software again and go back and do that. You know say, all right, that's it. That is it for today. I hope I made it crystal clear to you and you don't have any further questions. If you do, you can feel free to put, put them in the comment field. I read all of the comments. Sometimes I don't, do not reply and I'm saying if there's a lot to do, but I also would like to urge you to go and check out our Discord channel, The Black Hole, because there's a lot of things cooking in there. We have a weekly beat challenge. Ma ma magnificent, amazing initiatives, things like Joyo Johnny's podcast, Inside the Producer's Mind. You should definitely check that out. We have mixtapes, album projects going on. A big old boiling pot of collaboration. So, thank you for watching. Okay, bye-bye.